the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship six-team ladder match, The Judgment Day, consisting of Finn Balor and Damian Priest defending their titles against DIY consisting of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa versus Awesome Truth consisting of The Miz and R-Truth versus The New Day consisting of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods versus Austin Theory and Grayson Waller versus the New Catch Republic uh Republic oh. <laughs> consisting of Pete Dunne and Tyler Bate whoo that was a my a mouthful to say <laughs> wow and you know just by announcing that I went into this going like oh man this is going to be a real big cluster or it's going to be amazing, but it's going to be chaotic, right? Having 12 people in there with the ladder match. All right. I grew up on TLC matches with the Dudleys, the Hardys and Edge and Christian. So uh, there was nothing in this match that I would say was as crazy as what some of the spots we saw in that match and those matches back in the day. And rightfully so, because man, you know, you definitely want to be a lot more careful nowadays, but it did have a lot of the typical ladder spots and that was really good. I want to mention too, there were some really nice tributes diy came out and tribute to degeneration x uh johnny gargano as sean michaels and tomaso champa as triple h and what was also really cool about that is xavier woods he revisited his consequences creed look that he had back in tna uh so this was clearly being done because they're in philadelphia as tribute to the late great carl weathers who played of course the iconic apollo creed in the rocky franchise philadelphia Philadelphia, of course, being the place where the Rocky franchise mostly took place, and I'm a big Rocky fan, so this was really cool to see. R-Truth, God bless this man, he gave us a hot tag in a pinfall in a ladder match. You gotta love our truth He is hilarious. We had DIY pay tribute all as well. Once again, DX doing the sweet chin music in a uh, different version of the pedigree from Tommaso Ciampa. Um... Austin Theory and Grayson Waller actually did eventually win the SmackDown Tag Team Championships halfway into the match, so that was a shocker, because I had Awesome Truth and DIY both winning one of these titles, but yeah, you know, I guess you want a, a tag team with the heels on there, so yeah, they clearly were going to separate the tag titles. Eventually, we do get to Damian Priest, who does the South of Heaven choke slam to The Miz off the ladder, but our truth comes in and hits the AA, of course, John Cena being his childhood hero, even though he's older than John Cena, which by the way, our truth to be in his early 50s looks fantastic and moves fantastic. So much props to him, man. That being said, he basically gets his revenge on Damian Priest, laying him out of the ring, climbs up, and the audience was going crazy. And our truth grabs the tag titles, and the audience explodes. You see, they do this great shot panning out, and you see the ball, the, the beach ball being blown, being shot around and everything. So I thought that was pretty fantastic one of the things too about this match that that was really good to see at the end was r-truth getting emotional we're so used to r-truth playing that goofball character that it's cool to see that this means a lot to him as a performer because he is the last wwe attitude era full-time star still around i remember him all the way back in his k quick days so that was cool to see and i'm happy for the miz as well because if you've been following Following the Miz, his wife went through just some tr troublesome, troublesome, troublesome stuff, and having near tumors in her stomach, and she had to get a lot of her reproductive organs removed. And now, thankfully, she's tumor free, and that's so good to hear. Because the Miz, man, to work through the year he's had dealing with that with his wife and his kids, can can't even imagine. So it's good to see the Miz and our truth get this moment, and it's just fantastic. So I will say the ladder match. It was, if you grew up watching those old school ladder matches, it's not going to compare to those. But was it fun? Yes, it was exciting. And it gave us some really good feel moment, feel good moments at the end because our truth deserved it. He's, like I said, he's in his early 50s. You don't know how much more longer he's got left. It's good to see him get a big moment at WrestleMania.